Hey everyone, Anthony here from Mashup Math, and thank you again for stopping by on this mini lesson. We are going to work through a practice problem together and take a visual approach to finding a solution. You ready? Hey everyone, welcome back, and thank you for joining me on this lesson where we are going to gain some practice with multiplying fractions. So let's go ahead and model this real world situation. Mackenzie is preparing dinner for five guests at her restaurant. And she wants to give each guest three eighths of a pound of noodles. So we have five guests and each one of them is going to receive three eighths of a pound. So as a fraction, three over eight to five different people. And we're looking to figure out how many pounds of noodles she will need to prepare. Now we can model this by taking that fraction three over eight and multiplying it by five total people. So three over eight times five. So now that we have modeled this word problem, we can find the answer to the question of how many pounds of noodles she will need to prepare in total. So right now we have a fraction three over eight being multiplied by five, a whole number but we're gonna change five to a fraction by rewriting it as five over one, which we know means the same thing. And when multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators three times five, which we know is 15. And we also multiply the denominators eight times one, which we know is just eight. And our product is 15 over eight. Now we should ask ourselves, can my answer be simplified? The answer in this case is yes. We can think of 15 over 8 in a different way. We can change 15 to 8 plus 7 because the sum of 8 and 7 equals 15. Now, you may be wondering why we chose to use 8 and 7 when there are many more combos that could be used whose sum would equal 15. We chose 8 by default because our denominator has a value of 8 and doing this allows us to split the fraction up and now we can see that 8 over 8 just equals 1 and this makes it a lot easier for us to express our answer as a mixed number. And so now we can conclude that she will need one and seven eight pounds of noodles in total to serve her five guests. So it may be a good idea for you to go back and redo this problem again and really think about how we modeled this word problem and how we applied our math skills and concepts to finding a final answer. All right, so that's it for that lesson. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We don't want you to miss out. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. We respond to every single comment. I promise you will respond, even the meme ones. Okay, but let's just try to keep it nice. Those ones are always a lot more fun to read. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.